divided into two, pulmonary circulation and systemic circulation. Pulmonary circulation is the movement of blood between the heart and both lungs, right and left lung, while systemic circulation is the movement of blood between the heart and all parts of the body except lungs. The right side of the heart receives deoxygenated blood from body tissues and pumps the blood into the pulmonary circulation. The left side of the heart receives oxygenated blood from the lung and pumps the blood to the systemic circulation. Deoxygenated blood in the right atrium enters the right ventricle. When the right ventricle contracts, the blood is pumped into the pulmonary artery that branches off to right pulmonary artery and left pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood to the capillary beds in the right lung and left lung. At the capillary beds in the lung, gas exchange occurs. Oxygen from the alveolar sac diffuses into the blood and carbon dioxide from the blood diffuses into the alveolar sac. The blood is now recharged with oxygen and it is called oxygenated blood. Oxygenated blood returns to the heart, enters the left atrium via pulmonary vein. Oxygenated blood in the left atrium enters the left ventricle. When left ventricle contracts, oxygenated blood is pumped into the aorta. Aorta branches off into arteries that carry blood to forelimb, upper part of the body, and hind limb, lower part of the body. The arteries carry the blood, oxygenated blood, to capillary beds in the body tissues, and at the capillary bed in the body tissues, gas exchange occurs. Oxygen from the blood diffuses into the body tissues and carbon dioxide from the body tissues diffuse into the blood. Now the blood has low oxygen saturation and it is called deoxygenated blood. Deoxygenated blood is returned to the heart entering the right atrium via vena cava. Superior vena cava carries deoxygenated blood from the fore limb, while inferior vena cava carries deoxygenated blood from the hind limb. Cardiac cycle is the alternating period of contraction and relaxation in one complete heartbeat that is about 0.8 second. Contraction phase or systole is the state where the heart contracts. So when atria contract, blood is pushed into the ventricles. And when the ventricles contract, blood is pushed out from the ventricles. While relaxation phase or diastole is the state where the heart relaxes and the chambers are filled with blood. The first phase of cardiac cycle is atrial systole that takes about 0.1 second. This is to ensure that the remaining blood in the atria enters the ventricles. During this period, the atria contract, blood is pushed into the ventricles, passed through open tricuspid valve and bicuspid valve. Pulmonary semilunar valves and aortic semilunar valves are closed. Ventricular systole begins in the second phase. During this phase, the ventricles contract and the pressure within the ventricles increases and that causes the tricuspid valve and bicuspid valve to close. Blood recoils against the closed heart valve and that produces the first heart sounds, the loop sound that is a low pitched sound, not very loud and fairly long lasting. The third phase is rising pressure period. The pressure within the ventricles are higher than the pressure within the pulmonary artery and aorta. 
pulmonary semilunar valve and aortic semilunar valves open and the blood and blood is pushed from the ventricle into the pulmonary artery and aorta. The second and third phase is about 0.3 second. Ventricular diastole begins in the fourth phase. Pressure within the ventricles are now lower than the pressure within the pulmonary arteries and aorta, and that causes the semilunar valves, pulmonary semilunar valve and aortic semilunar valve to close. Blood recoils against the closed semilunar valve and produces the second heart sound, the dupe sound, that is high-pitched, loud, sharp, and short sound. The last phase is the falling pressure period. The pressure within the chambers are low, so the atria are filled with blood, and blood from the atria will then flow into the ventricles. Uh, the fourth and fifth phase is about 0.4 second. Conduction system of the heart is a network of specialized autorhythmic cardiac muscle cells that initiate and coordinate contraction of the heart muscle. So our cardiac muscles contract and relax without any signal from the nervous system. The main parts of the heart conduction system are sinoatrial node or SA node, Atrioventricular node or AV node, atrioventricular bundle or AV bundle, right and left bundle branches, and Purkinje fibers. SA node is also known as the pacemaker. The cells in the SA node initiate heartbeat by producing electrical impulses. SA node is located in the posterior wall of the right atrium and near to the opening of the superior vena cava. AV node is located in the right atrium along the lower part of the septum. While AV bundle rises from AV node and branches into right bundle branch in the right ventricle and left bundle branch in the left ventricle. The right and left bundle branches are specialized muscle fibers that divide further into small Purkinje fibers. This diagram shows the cardiac muscle fibers that are joined together by intercalated discs. Intercalated discs have gap junctions. The function of gap junctions is to allow electrical impulses generated by the SA node to move from one cardiac muscle to the next cardiac muscle. This allows the electrical impulses to move from the atria to the ventricles and then it allows the chambers, the heart chambers to contract. When SA node initiates electrical impulse, the impulse spread to the wall of the atria, both right atrium and left atrium. Cardiac muscle fibers in the atrium also conduct the impulse to the AV node. When the impulse spread to the wall of the atria, shown by the green color, the atria contract. The transmission of impulse at the AV node is delayed for about 0.1 second. This is to allow atria to finish contracting and to allow the remaining blood to be pushed into the ventricles. AV node transmits the impulse to the AV bundle. AV bundle then conducts the impulse to the apex of the heart into the right bundle branch and left bundle branch. The bundle branches then spread the impulse to the Purkinje fibers. The impulse now spread throughout the walls of the ventricles, shown by the purple color here, and the ventricles will then contract.